All right, welcome back. Got all of my, I think my tools and the things that I need for this. I think you do too, Kelly, as well. Summer school is- I've got is... so much stuff. I can't imagine what we're about to make. I'm very excited. Summer school is in session here at Live. So let's wow. have some fun with an easy experiment you can do with your kids. Our favorite science teacher back on the show once again, Science Bob. Good to see Ooh. you in your tie-dye lab coat, my friend. Yeah, dusted off the tie-dye lab coat. You know, we're going from Bear Grylls in the middle of the ocean to a science guy in his attic studio. It's perfect. This is a fun uh, show. You it's know a what? Fun show. I like it. I like it very much. You are the yin to his yang. There you go. There you go. Uh, Bob, before you get going there, your school where you teach, have they made a plan for next year yet for the students? Uh, so far, uh, the good news is it looks like uh, they're going to try to get every student in the school back into the classroom for at least a uh, part of every week. And so that is, uh, that's, uh, that's a win so far. Excellent. Okay, Science Bob, teach us. All right, class is in session. You guys are lab partners. Here we go. Okay. Uh, today we are going to make a device that will fly using just a plastic straw and an index card. So let's go through a quick to-do list of what you're gonna need. All this is on my website at sciencebob.com, so you don't have to worry about writing it down. All right, you're gonna need some like card stock, some thick paper, uh, index cards, manila folders, that type of thing. Uh, you're gonna need some tape. You are gonna okay. need some plastic straws. Uh, so next time you pick up your iced latte, get a couple extra straws and a pair of scissors. That's it, you got all that stuff in your kitchen right now. All right, so step number one. You're gonna to wanna to cut up that cardstock into one inch strips. Now, ultimately, we are gonna want a 10 inch strip and about a five inch. So uh, I cut up an index card, which means I'm gonna to have to put two of them together. So uh, okay. we're gonna go ahead and just tape those, overlap them a little bit, and that will make them a little bit stronger. And then, once you have that done, you are going to turn them around and make them into a nice loop. All right, so when you are done, it will look okay. like that. Cool. Okay. All right, there Got we go. Yep. And then you're gonna do that Good. with, perfect, Ryan. All right, and then you're gonna do that with a five inch strip. So you're gonna make a smaller loop, overlap it a little bit. And there you go. You're gonna look at this, you're right. gonna be like, this doesn't, this is gonna fly. Oh, it's gonna fly, people. Got it. All okay. right. Okay. It looks like you guys are in good shape. And uh, almost in good shape. Then uh, last step, uh, actually, is, uh, and don't worry, we'll give you time to catch up, is to uh, get your straw. And on one end of the straw, you're going to tape that loop in. And you want the straw on the inside of the loop, not the outside. And so I'll put a little piece of tape there. And so when you are done, it will look like that, all right, so there it cool. is, it's in there. And then part two of the last step. Right. You're almost right. I just need to do one thing, Rye. Flip that What's little that? small one around so it's lined up with the big one. So I'll show you, okay. I'll show you, I'll show you. Uh, yeah. So like that, like that, there you go. Oh, like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, okay, got it. You can do it, you can do it. Pick aviation. Like Bear says, never, never give up. NGU. Never, never give, give up, up, Ryan. Aviation is my future. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm uh, ready. That's looking pretty good. Kelly, how you doing? I'm coming. It's 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 actually right. looking better than you think. All right, so yeah. we're gonna do a little no, science behind this. In a moment, we're gonna throw this, and this okay. big ring is gonna create drag. So the same way a rocket has fins to kind of keep it straight, that's gonna be what this big ring does. And you're gonna throw this sort of like a dart, sort of like uh, slightly up and sort of like a dart. All right, so Ryan, you look just about ready. You wanna give it a try? All right, I go do. for it. See what kind of distance you get. Oh, the coffee table. All right, yeah, now I, I obviously I can't do much here, but I did go out in my yard uh, to give oh. you an idea of how that looks. So take a look, hear me testing it well, in the yard. Let's give it a try, here we go. In three, two, one. There it goes. Ooh. Wow, you got real distance. That wasn't bad. That was a pretty good flight. I'd say it went about 25 feet. All right, time to experiment, see if we can get it to go even longer. So it goes yeah, longer? Yeah, so. Okay, go longer. 
Well, uh, well, for example, you can experiment. Ooh. So, like, here's like, did it work? <laughs> it went far. Yeah. So now you can have some Farther fun with it, right? Like, you could put yeah. some together, make like a really long one, make shorter ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah, through? that one's that, that thing's going for miles. That's still going. Wow. Yeah. Science yeah. Bob, a very again. easy experiment. I like seeing you also in your resort wear in your backyard. That was kind of a highlight for me this segment. Yes. Oh, yeah. You can yeah. check out. All of this experiment on his website. We'll put it on ours as well. Good to see you, Bob. Thanks for coming on. Always great to see you guys. Thank you. We'll so be right back. Bob. We miss you. Miss you. Oh, oh, nice.